Swagglicious MC here, and welcome to episode one of Pit Forge Factions. Now, guys, I actually used to have a faction series about, um, I stopped it about a month or two ago, um, on this server. But anyways, I decided to go ahead, and this server actually reset within the past week, I believe. And I decided that, heck, let's just go start another faction series on here, you know. And, uh, yeah, so for those of you guys that don't already know, this isn't normal factions. There, there's a lot of stuff similar to factions, and I mean, it still is obviously a faction server, but there's a lot of stuff that's also different, if you know what I'm saying. But, like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna explain that as we go, because if I tried explaining everything right now, this would end up being a two and a half hour long video, and, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we actually started off with 12 rare crystals. N no, no freaking clue, guys, but... I guess I go, I'll go ahead and open these. Basically, if you don't know what crystals do, is you can open them at, uh, I, I, I do not want dirt, okay? Um, you can open them down at Novus, which is this big, uh, the, the mag, magma cube, yeah, that's what those are called, uh, over here. And you, it, it has a chance of giving you armor, spawners, just basically a bunch of stuff. So we have 12 of them. I'm gonna sell, uh... You know what, I'm gonna sell six of these for 12,000 because unless they change the economy, rare crystals are worth $2,000 each. And we honestly really need money right now because you only start off with $1,000 uh, and, uh, wait, wait, what? 998, how'd that happen? Does it, oh, maybe it costs money to list items on the auction house. Okay, well, $2 isn't a big deal, but anyways. Let's just go ahead and open our first one. Now, if we could get a spawner, that would be sick, but okay, we didn't get a spawner, but we did get uh, a rune chest plate. So, how armor works, guys, if you're wondering, like, a rune chest plate, what's, sa what's saturation one, what's the, what's the rarity all about, you know, all that. So, basically, there's four tiers of armor that go along with the four tiers of crystals, common, rare, epic, legendary. And, uh, you unlock legendary armor from legendary crystals, common from common, uh, etc, etc. But basically, if you, let's say you have two, let's say I have two rune chest plates. Like, let's say if I were to get another rune chest plate from this one, which I didn't, but let's just say if we did. If I went ahead and actually combined these two, basically, like, if I picked one up and put it over the other, it actually upgrades the armor, which basically... Um, level 2, I believe you need 3 pieces of armor to get level 2 armor, and it's like, up uh, 8 for level, or 6 or 8 for level 3, and, uh, so on, I think the highest level is 7. But leveling up armor is really useful, because it'll get more protection on it, it'll become more durable, uh, more... Protective, I guess. I, I I already said that, didn't I? Um, well, basically, it, it just becomes stronger the more you upgrade it. So, if we get duplicates of armor, that's actually not a bad thing. And it does, doesn't look like we got any duplicates at all. Yeah, these are all three different helmets, but... Okay, so has anyone bought our uh, rare crystals yet? Let me check again. No, doesn't look like it. Let me just quickly say in chat 6 rare crystals on the auction house for 12k 2k each just in case I, I i don't know someone doesn't know how to do just 12 divided by six anyway so let's just go ahead and uh, put all of this stuff in here i honestly do not need that i'll actually take the stone and the oak wood and yes someone actually bought our stuff so That'll give us, okay, there we go. We, we now have almost 13k, and we literally just started. Okay, so this is looking pretty good, but first, I, I, wa I want to get a base, because we can't really do anything without a base. So, F create, uh, what should we call it? Um, hold on, hold, I, 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 I need to think of something good, guys, okay? Uh, okay, I thought of something. <laughs> I, d d just d don't ask, Mr. Krabs OP and, uh, you need to be at least level 3 to create a faction. Okay, well, um, that's not too big of a deal, except for the fact that we need to go trade in all of this armor we got for experience. Basically, what experience does is, if you see my experience bar right down there, 
Uh, it doesn't have, I, I'm currently, I don't have any experience, you can enchant stuff on the server, because all armor is pre-enchanted with stuff, but basically, let's say if you're level 1, if, if you have, uh, one bar of experience, or not one bar, but like one full bar of experience, and it has a 1 above it, you know, just like simple Minecraft, then you're level 1. Level 2 is 2, so on and so forth, so basically... What you can do with armor is if I go to the experience trader, I can throw all of this in there. I don't honestly really need any of this at the moment anyways. And I can just go grab all of this experience and level up. So, please get me to level 3. I need to get to level... Oh, wait, did someone... Oh, someone just said two creep breaks for 5k. That's actually... That's actually really cheap. They normally sell for 10k per, but you know, we, we don't have time for that. Let's see. Can't, will this get us to level 3? Oh, okay. We're level 2. Is it? Oh, yes, that's just... That was absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually went from level 1 to level... Okay, so that, that wasn't honestly that bad. I, I, I was kind of worried we would need to um, sell some of the armor we currently have on, which I did not want to do because, honestly, Divine Armor... Us and st the stone club that comes with it. That's honestly what you're gonna want, uh, like when you're PvPing and all that, because like um, it's the easiest to upgrade, you know. So that's why I was actually getting worried there. I thought we were gonna have to sell some of the armor we have on us, which is my only set left. Uh, actually, hold up a sec. I think I have. I think I can get another new kit, which is just the same. Okay, yeah, so I can get that. Now, I cannot get that anymore. That's a one-time kit, so let's go ahead and throw that in there for now since we don't need it. I don't really know if I want to um, upgrade my current set quite yet. I mean, I'll think about it. That I don't know for sure if, if that's what I want to do with it yet. I might sell it. I don't really know. Anyways, let's just go ahead, slash F, create Mr. Krabs, guys. Yes, I... I, I, I I, I, I couldn't think of anything else, okay? So, um, uh, let's see. So, your base is under construction. It'll be ready soon. Okay, so basically, how bases work is you get, I believe it's a 100 by 100 block plot. And you can build, uh, your base within that area. And, uh, outside that 100 by 100 block plot, you cannot build. And that's basically where other people raid you from. But, okay, so our base should be done now, right? Failed to... Is it, it, it's still, is it still seriously being made? Anyways, our base is now done. I went ahead and actually just crafted uh, some chests, a crafting table. I guess we can just go ahead and get another crafting table just in case. So let's go to slash home. And okay, there we go. So basically, uh, here's what I'm talking about. There's the green line right there. Inside of this, we can actually build stuff. And outside, we cannot. This is basically where people raid us from. And, uh, yeah, so actually it might be more than 100 by 100. I mean, I, I just assumed it was, but it might be more, but I, 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 I honestly don't really want to count right now. It's not really that important, so let's just go ahead and I guess get some chests and a crafting table down for now. I'm probably not going to build a base right now just because I don't really have enough money to, but in, be in between episodes, I guess I will try to do that. And uh, real quickly though, I just want to check because I do need to find some way to make money rather than sell crystals because from voting, you only get two per day. So let me quickly check Oh, uh, if there are any like farm items or spawners that I can actually afford. Okay guys, so I'm in the sell item area. I just want to check what actually sells for the most here. Uh, okay, so spawners we're probably not going to be able to buy right now. So I'm not even going to bother looking at um, any mob drop sugarcane. 45 for 16. Okay, that's not bad. Cactus, uh, well, sugarcane farm would definitely be a lot easier than a cactus farm, but cactus grows faster, I believe, or something like that. I, I don't know, but okay, so, um, let's see, $22 for 40 carrots. Uh, okay. Any, is there anything else here? Potatoes. Uh, $40 for 16 carrots, I mean, 16 potatoes. So right now it actually looks like um sugarcane would probably be my best oh wait do I oh hold on no I I'm, I'm still in the cell shop okay so yeah sugarcane looks like it would be my best bet right now 
I guess I'll just go ahead. Let's buy 48. Uh, I don't actually no. Let's buy a stack. I mean that only costs about a thousand, so we still have about twelve thousand dollars left. So um, let's see. Where where's water buckets at though? Uh, miscellaneous anywhere? Miscellaneous. Okay, right there. So let's go buy two water buckets just so we can have uh, make ourselves an infinite water source. And I guess I'll just go ahead and start building it then. So. Um, let me quickly just make this right here, I guess. I'll start off by just doing this. And I guess I'll make, like, four eight by, I mean, like, four eight, uh, block strips of water. That seems like, that seems like it would be enough. So, um, yeah, because I could plant sugarcane on each side of that. So, yeah, that would be enough. Let me, let me just quickly go ahead and do that, guys. But already then, and there we go. So, let's just go ahead and start planting the sugarcane down. Uh, so hope I'm really hoping we don't get raided uh, by next episode because that tends to happen whenever like I start out on a faction server like uh, 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 one episode I'll build a base and then in between episodes I'll expand it and uh, that I end up getting raided so I'm hoping that's not gonna happen because to be uh, to be completely honest I don't really see why people would want to go for my base since it's not really there's not really anything on it right now just like four chests and just some sugarcane, and plus, you can open chests without having to blow them up on people's plots, so they could literally just, uh, find my base, run down here, and take whatever stuff's in there, and, uh, oh, wait, why, uh, there, there's a baby, wait, 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 hold on a sec, why, why are there mobs on my plot, I thought, wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on a second, since when do mobs spawn on my plot? Okay, I, d I didn't actually know that. Hold on, let me quickly reckless freaking baby zombies face. Okay, no, I'm not. Literally, I hate baby zombies. They're just so fast and annoying. Okay, there. Come on, and all right, there we go. So, I probably should end this video before more mobs start trying to kill my face. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to slam that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this video with your friends, and I will see you all in the next one.